Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gary with another Fan TV, man. Back at another video at the content. If you go and smash that like button at the content this channel, go ahead and subscribe, man. Look, so, um, Ravens, game status. Uh, we'll do the game preview tomorrow, obviously. But who is going to play, who's not going to play, who's still up in the air? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Let's talk about it, all right? So, uh, the two guys that have already been ruled out for the game, Marlon Humphrey, Tylen Wallace. Now, Tylen Wallace has been practiced all week with knee injury. And Marlon Humphrey had that calf injury that he sustained a couple weeks ago. He's still not ready to go. So I would rather have Marlon Humphrey, you know, set out than be a liability in, you know, what's the biggest game of the year to date, right? So it is what it is. It is tough losing Marlon. You know, he's had an injury-riddled season. But if the Ravens do beat the Texans, and, you know, I'm confident that they can, it would be better to have Marlon the following week than, you know, him hobbled out there right now, right? So... Uh, I understand the decision, okay? So, uh, guys that are questionable, right? Mark Andrews, Devin DuVernay, Delshawn Phillips, and our Darius Washington. Now, for those guys that are questionable, all of these guys have pretty much been a full participant in practice. Now, Delshawn Phillips has been the DNP all week. They still have listed as questionable. I would assume he's not going to play, you know, with that. You know, he's been a good special teams guy. Stepped up, stepped up in the game versus Steelers. In a full-time linebacker role, but mainly this season is a special teams for Deshaun Phillips, right? Um, now, as far as Mark Andrews, Mark Andrews was limited on Tuesday, but the last two days of this week's, he's been so including yesterday and today, he's been a full participant in practice. So I would assume Mark Andrews is going to play in some capacity uh, versus the Houston Texans. Okay. Now, uh, Jadavian, sorry, uh, Devin Devin Duvernay, Harbaugh already said Devin Duvernay is back. He's playing. Which honestly is good news. You know, I thought Tyler Wallace was doing a great job on pump return kick returns, but if Tyler Wallace is not going to play, then it's great to have Devin Uberday back on the team as a guy who we know can handle that uh, that role. All right. Um, so yeah, regardless, it's good to have Devin Uberday back on the team, right? So, um, and then the last guy right here who's listed as questionable, which is would be our Darius Washington, right? So Darius Washington, um, he's come back to practice. You know, he started off the season really, really strong, won the nickel roll, played really well, then missed a large portion of the season. He's now just coming back. Now, I think it'd be a tough ask to throw him into this game, playoff game, the first game he's played in for a while. But if he can give the Ravens some slot flexibility where they can move him around as far as, oh, sorry, rotate slot between him, Altamar, Lett, sometimes Kyle Hamilton down there, you know, they can rotate guys in and out of the, in and out the game. That's all the better for the Ravens, right? But um, I don't expect him, even if he is healthy, to have a big, big role in the defense just because playoff game, first game back, that's a lot to ask for a guy, right? So, But it still is good to see that he's even listed as questionable. Like I said, he was a full participant uh, two out of three days this week. So it's looking really good that he is going to play some kind of role. So good to see our Darius Washington back, all right? So um, the guys that are on here with no injury designation at all, Jadavion Clowney, Zay Flowers, Malik Harrison, and Odafi Owe, right? So for Clowney, um, I think he was sick, so he's back. Uh, Odafi Owe and Zay Flowers both had injuries the previous – well, I don't say they had injuries the previous week. They both had things that they were dealing with the previous week where they didn't practice at all. But obviously that was the Ravens bye week, so it didn't matter. But during this week when, you know, we're back practicing, preparing for a game, they've been pretty much out there. So uh, the Ravens are going to have – a lot of pretty much, I would say 90, 95% of the team is going to play, you know, guys that's not on IR, you know what I mean? We know obviously not those kind of guys, but guys that are just regularly, uh, readily available to play, the Ravens are going to have a pretty um, good roster out there, right? So, um, you know, it's not like previous years where you come down to the end of the season, there's injuries, injuries, injuries. Um, there's a couple here and there, but for the most part, the Ravens are in good shape to uh, play this game now. So as far as... The biggest one, obviously, is to me, is Marlon Humphrey. I mean, there's no, there's no uh, uh, secret there. But I will say this, right? The Texans are dealing with injuries on their side of the ball, especially their receiving core. I mean, I, I don't believe Noah Brown is going to play. They already lost Tank Dell for the season during the year, right? So that means that, you know, Nico Collins, who is a monster, if he has to go up against Brandon Stevens, who has had a breakout season, I'm okay with that matchup. I'm comfortable with Brandon Stevens guarding Nico Collins. Do I think it'll be a situation when he follows him all over the field? No, the Ravens don't really do that. But uh, I think it'll be enough that where if Nico Collins is having to get off on somebody else, they'll make the switch and put Brandon Stevens on him. So I, I feel comfortable with that matchup. And if the Texans want to try to exploit Ronald Darby or whoever whoever else is out there, you know, 
the only other option they're throwing it to is, you know, Robert Woods and John Mechie. Now, those guys are, are talented receivers, don't get me wrong. Robert Woods is a veteran, Mechie's a young receiver. But if they want to go that route and have those guys win them the game, I don't think that's going to be the, the strategy the Texas want to employ, right? Trying to target these guys because they're going against, you know, quote-unquote backup corners, right? I don't think that's the strategy the Texas want to go with. So um, I feel confident, even with Marlon out, that the Ravens have enough cover at the cornerback positions to still um, have a good game out there. So, um, yeah, that's the Ravens update for today. Uh, we'll do the game preview, like I said, tomorrow, man. But um, you know, y'all have a beautiful day. It's Gabriel, just another fan TV. I'm out.